Well, we absolutely love bear meat, and Michelle has a recipe we're going to share with you that is our absolute favorite. You may have heard that bear meat isn't so great, or you may have had some bear meat in the past and you didn't like it. If you try this recipe, I guarantee you, you're going to love it. If you don't, I don't even know what to say. Something's wrong with you. It's that good. Now it's time for How To, brought to you by Outdoor Edge Knives, Field Proven, and Razor Sharp to get the job done fast. Hi, and welcome to this week's How To, brought to you by Outdoor Edge. This week, I'm going to make a bear pot roast from one of Jeb's shoulders from the bear that he shot that we actually processed ourselves. And here's a beautiful piece of shoulder meat. The great thing about pot roast is you can really use any cut of meat. You can use elk, you can use antelope, you can use any kind of wild game, but bear is especially good because it has that thick, heavy grain. And also, because bear can have trichinosis, it's a great dish because you cook it thoroughly. You always want to cook pork or bear or anything that has a possibility of having trichinosis to at least 150 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to cook this thoroughly so there's not going to be any issues. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shoulder, I have my crock pot here, and I'm just going to cut it into chunks. And that'll just help it cook through more. Put that in my in my crock pot and you want to have about eight ounces of meat per person so this is um, very simple you don't really have to measure anything it's all kind of just by feel or how many people you're serving so what i'm going to do is i've got about three to four cloves of chopped garlic i'm going to go ahead and add that and then i have some onions that i'm going to go ahead and slice and put those in with the meat. And again, I like to do it in, in big chunks. Um, it's really good because we're gonna make a gravy afterwards and serve that with mashed potatoes. It's very delicious. I have my carrots, I have my onions, I have my garlic. And then once I have everything in the crock pot, I'm actually gonna take and I'm gonna put equal parts of beef broth So I'm gonna cover that to about half. And then a little secret, the other half is burgundy wine. So I'm gonna make sure that the bear and the vegetables are completely covered with the broth. Add a little season salt. You can always adjust the seasonings later after we're done. And we'll check it out in eight hours. So my bear has cooked overnight in the crock pot and all I'm going to do to finish up this dish is to make a nice gravy. I'm going to pull the meat out. You're going to see how nice and tender it is. Grab all the vegetables and then I'm going to thicken the gravy so you can use it over mashed potatoes. Very simple. Just going to grab all of this out of here and you can see that the meat absolutely falls apart. So now I'm going to take my broth. I'm going to put it in a saucepan. And I'm gonna bring that to a boil. And I've got the beef powder, some cornstarch, and some soy sauce. And so what this is, it's about a half a cup of cornstarch, it's a quarter cup of soy sauce, and then the beef powder mixed in about a cup of water. So that's what I'm gonna to use to go ahead and thicken the gravy. Okay, so my broth is boiling. I'm gonna go ahead and add my mixture of cornstarch and soy sauce and beef broth and we're going to thicken that up and this makes absolutely wonderful gravy this is one of our favorite recipes our whole family loves to hunt bears because we love to eat bear meat okay so we'll pour that over that and you can see how nice and thick that is And there you have one of our favorite recipes here at Full Draw Outfitters.